Well, we started in 1984 uh, in a small office in Overton. In fact, we found out a short while after moving in there that it was previously a Shabin. <laughs> and uh, we then grew out of that within a year, yeah. uh, moved next door, uh, across the road uh, to a place four times the size, and within two years we had to move out of there into a bigger place. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So we've been going for 33 years now, and uh, very strong. We opened our first branch in Durban, it was successful almost immediately. Cape Town was tremendous. Uh, the, the Cape Town office, uh, we had, a, we had a, a, one or two distributors in Cape Town, but when we opened our branch within three months they had done five times the turnover that we were getting from our distributors there. And that's been ever, uh, successful ever since. We refer to ourselves as wholesale importers and, and distributors of electrical switchgear and automation products. At the moment we have uh, somewhere around 18,000 products. Wow. Yeah. And we carry stock in all our branches. Uh, we've just opened a distribution center in, in Weinberg where, we, where our head office is. And everything is now channeled through there and then distributed to our branches. So if I can ask you roughly, what is the kind of value of your stock holding in South Africa? And, and what is your, your average stock turnover time? Um, yes, uh, uh, we're carrying at the moment somewhere around 300 million and um, our turnover is three to four times a year wow. on average. The catalogue has been my baby ever since we started. I used to sit until four in the morning with a very antiquated screen and a very antiquated software system and design the catalogues. I used to sit and, and my, my first catalogue I actually cut pictures out and glued them in and photostated them. And one day I went to a, a computer fair and I saw this thing called desktop publishing. And I said, what? What is this thing? And they explained it to me and I, I grabbed it with both hands and, and I used to sit until four in the morning working on the catalogue. This catalogue has taken the best part of two years to do. We do all our own in-house photography, we photograph every item that's illustrated in the catalogue. And uh, it's one, one problem we have is that we, we put prices in our catalogue. Mm -hmm. And very, uh, it's very easy to do catalogues if you don't put prices in. Mm -hmm. Because you could actually put a catalogue out there and it's valid for the next five years. Mm -hmm. But we're constantly introducing new products into our catalogue. Um, we have just introduced a whole lot of new products into our catalogue. Uh, I think additional 40 pages uh, were added to the previous one. Um, and so yes, it's a, it's, it's a big job, it's a really but a big job. a critical job in your line of business? A critical job and the pricing is appreciated by our customers uh, in, that, in, in that within the industry our catalogue is almost a bible. Mm. You go to virtually any wholesaler, they'll have one of our catalogues. You go to any panel builder, they'll have one of our catalogues on their desk. And uh, we get a lot of publicity. Uh, uh, foreign supply, uh, suppliers not even dealing with us will go and visit panel builders and see our catalogue and say, hey, this is the company to go to. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's done a lot of good for us. Mm -hmm. so, but all I can say is service, service, service. Mm -hmm. Uh, we strive to give the best possible service, and that has been our success. Uh, we know that we're not the cheapest. We have, we have a lot of uh, foreign product, eastern product coming in at very low pricing, which we def definitely are never able to compete with. But we are able to offer the, uh, the, a, a service that very few people can, and that's been our success.